leave Sarah out of it. Oh, never mind. I'm sure Henry will show me a good time. I'd love to call the TAB on the way over. Point taken, still in the race. Don't do it. Yes, hello. Can I have the number for Ferndale Police Station? Mrs. Rupa's wound site and get her referred to physio. You couldn't titrate Mr. Tuvali's insulin infusion, could no, you? I would, but Mr. Yu's been transfused a second unit of blood and his temperature spiked to 38. Oh, so pass the ball to the house, surgeon. I have paged her, but until she turns up, I am on 15-minute obs. Meanwhile, Mrs. Jones wants to be transferred to a new ward because, wait for it, the woman in the next bed is knitting too loudly. Oh, I might be able to talk her around. Hey, any chance that you can Sorry, no can do it. Let's just make a run for it. How about I dump these files? You create a distraction. What, like firebombing Frankenstein's monster in there? This whole mess is all her fault. OK, Helga. Either you find Mrs. Jones a new bed, or you convince her to take up crochet as a counterattack. Oh. Hold on. Off to get my roots done. Do it yourself. At least one of us still has a sense of humor. Get the feeling I won't have it for much longer. I've just come from the cop shop, you nut. Right then, here. Remember when we were 12? Cutting our fingers and doing the whole Blood Brothers thing? I never thought you'd turn around and stab me in the back. I gave you a chance to come clean. You didn't take it. It was one more race. I was going to be in the clear. There would have been more money for back in Samoa. If you'd left it alone, I could have gone straight. Look, we both know that never would have happened. OK, so save the self pity and try feeling sorry for the people you ripped off. <laughs> Listen to you, Mr. Holdier, than I'm now. trying to help you, Henry. By sending all my good work for our people down the toilet? And what about Sarah? This could hurt her business, too. Without me and my rent, it's going to be harder Sarah's for Sarah's a survivor. If she knew that you'd been lying and cheating innocent people, she wouldn't want what you had to offer, Henry. I'm not the only one lying and cheating. You dobbed me in at the same time you're planning your next bet and your next cover story for Sarah. It's not the same thing. No. Because I had a choice about what I was doing. I decided the end made it all worthwhile, but you, you've got no choice because you are a pathetic addict. So don't you dare think you're better than me. Well, I'm seeing <clears throat> spaghetti on toast or beans on toast. And I think I can even offer you, yes, I can, a piece of very well-aged cheddar to grate on top. Delicious. Mmm. Which option will get Reuben's big tick for? I haven't got tempted. Mm. Sorry, guys. Maxwell was supposed to shop. But I can always order something from the IV. Oh, thanks. But I ate at work, and I'm going back in for a stock take soon. So go crazy. Order something completely folate-free. Mm. Well, do you want me to come with you? Because I could help you get through it faster. You're not too tired. <laughs> for you? Never. Hmm. Just remember that promise when you've been up all night with a crying baby. Sorry, sorry. Wrong moment for a reality check. Oh. I've had as much reality as I can handle today. Because the reality is, no job equals no flat. Which equals staying put with Dad and being treated like I'm the baby who can't feed herself. Ah, here he is. The man who left us to starve. Yeah, that's my fault too. Put it on the list. You're right. I said I'd shop. Are you okay? In a hard day. You know, Mrs. Petrov seems fine after the fall in the shower, but we still need to let her family know what happened. Right, onto it. Uh, the new grad nurse has had four attempts at replacing Mr. Tupu's IV cannula. She's starting to look more frightened than he is. I'll do my best. Finally, my marathon drug round is over. A mere 12 hours since I started work. Any luck with Mrs. Jones? I found her a bed in Ward 7, not a knitter amongst them. So does that mean we can go home now, or do we have to get on our knees and beg Helga first? You don't think she'd like that. Is the attitude necessary? The system isn't the enemy, you know? If your best staff went elsewhere for shifts because a machine decided they weren't needed, you'd have attitude too. Especially if you were left doing the work of three people. OK, I'm listening. What problems has Helga thrown up that you haven't managed to solve? We've solved them all with plenty of blood, sweat and... Well, if there haven't been any emergencies, the system is working. 
outspoken like a true management stooge. You know, I think Rachel and Helga are related. <laughs> As nurse manager, I can't condone that statement. But the likeness is uncanny. Let me just check tomorrow's projections and then we are out of here. What? Can't turn Helga off. Hmm. Why don't you try that thing you do, you know, when you run your hands? No, I mean it. I'm gonna have to call IT. You go. You'll be here forever if I don't stay to drag you away. Let's just hope IT can sweet talk this monster. Well, here's an achievement. I've been knocked back by every single computer-related business in Central Ferndale. So widen the search. What about those mobile phone and geek outfits? Well, I'd need a car for call-outs. You could get a scooter or a push bike. <laughs> if we're gonna spend money on transport, it'll be something that carries three people. And it's not like you can strap a baby seat onto handlebars. Okay. Forgot. Finding a car's not a priority anyway. Finding a flat is. So, unless you want to end up in one of our parents' spare rooms... Yeah, I'll get a job. If it's in South or West Ferndale, we can move. So, I'd have to commute here? No, you won't be working here. Not when the baby's due or afterwards. It's not as if our lives aren't going to change, you know. Thanks, but I'm getting enough lectures already. And aren't you meant to be helping? Well, I'll do the glasses. Okay, thanks for that. See you soon. Right, takeaways will be ready in 15 minutes. I hope you feel better once you've eaten. Hmm, I won't. Because? Must be more than a hard day in ED. You have those all the time. Henry's rent check is going to bounce, babe. I'm serious. Why? What's going on? He's been running a major racket with his horses, scamming investors and stealing from them, but now he's been busted. And you knew this was happening for how long? I, I only found out for sure yesterday. I gave him a day to hand himself in, but he wouldn't do it. So, I had to do it. You called the police? Well, what about Henry's outreach clinic and all the other good works? Was that just, was that just window dressing to reel in suckers like me? No, he helped a lot of people. But then when he went broke, the only way he could carry on helping people was by scamming the better off some tens of thousands of dollars. How could he do that? You know, I had a bad feeling about him right from the start, and I only took him on because you said Because that it... I made you trust him. Because I trusted him. I've known him all my life. I loved him like a brother and now. And now he's hurt you. And he disgusts me for that more than anything. 